Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your WordPress websites. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I want to show you how you can add these particle effects to your section backgrounds using Elementor and a plugin called Jetrix. It's a part of CrocBlock package. Again, if you have never heard of CrocBlock, I'll leave a link to that video in the description and also link to the plugins in the description. So make sure you have Elementor and CrocBlock installed on your website and achieving this particle effect is quite easy. You don't have to write any code. I'll show you how in this video. Let's get into it. This particles effect is one of the many things that the Jetrix plugin can do. It's a part of CrocBlock package. And here's what I really like about a Jetrix plugin or any Jet plugin made by CrocBlock. When you go to your dashboard under Elementor settings, you have settings for each plugin that you, that comes bundled with your CrocBlock package. So we're talking about Jetrix. So I'll just click on Jetrix plugin or Jetrix settings and it will open up the settings for that particular plugin where I can choose the load level to improve the loading time of my Elementor editor. These really don't have an impact on the loading time. They've really optimized it. Again, if you really want to optimize it, if you have too many plugins on your Elementor interface, maybe you can customize the load level and not just that you can also disable any extensions and widgets that come with these plugins so if you want to disable hotspots unfold again we'll discuss this in later videos so you can disable all them and save them so they won't show up in the Elementor interface and they'll improve loading time again I have all these enabled on my Elementor interface they really don't make a difference you can simply enable all of them you don't really have to disable them so once you're done here, make sure your section particles is checked under available extensions of Jetrix settings. You're all good to go. So just open up Elementor interface, open any page, post or template. Unlike other CrocBlock plugins, these Jetrix are available as options within sections, columns or your widgets. So when you go to advanced area, right here you can see the settings for Jetrix. So this is where you can enable particles. So I just created an empty section. Let me adjust the height of the section. I taught this in Elementor Basics. So click on the section, go to height, change it from default to minimum height and specify a value. So let's specify maybe 750 pixels or whatever you want. Let's give a background to our section. So I'll just pick classic. I'll pick this color right here maybe this one i'll also pick a background image for my section so i'll just pick this so together with background image and background section my whole section looks like this now i want to apply the particle effect to this section it's quite easy just go to advanced under jetrix click on enable particles here's the thing that you need to note while using jetrix plugin or enabling these particle effects the first thing is that these effects won't show up in your preview. You have to click on the eye icon or view the actual page to see these effects in action. And the second thing is when you have WordFence plugin active and when you paste code in here, which I'll show you in a bit, you may get a 403 error. So in order to make this particle effect work, you have to temporarily disable your WordFence security plugin. That's when this won't throw up any error and work smoothly. So you can create the particles by clicking on this link. I'll just click on this link. So it opens up a website where I can customize the particles. You can play with the values here so you can customize the number. So you can increase the number. You can change the color. I'll just pick a color for my particles. Just like that. You can also change the shape. also change the stroke width basically you can play with these values the color looks horrible so I'll just change the color to white also change the stroke color to white as well so something of that sort now it kind of looks neat you can also change all the things that are available and once you're done tweaking all the values you need to click on download current config so it will download a json file you need to have a text editor to open this and 
if you know about atom text editor you can simply install atom text editor it's a free software so or you can use any text editor just search for text editor on google i personally use atom text editor again you can use any editor so once you download the file you can open it with atom text editor it just opens up like this and this is where you can extract all the code required to display the particles again before doing this i told you your wordfence plugin must be deactivated else it will throw up a 403 error and it will throw up a 403 error whenever you're customizing the section that these particles are enabled in so whenever you're working with a section page or a template that has this enabled you may have to temporarily disable wordfence i just disabled my wordfence temporarily i just pasted the code like i told you you won't see the preview here so let's click on update so it just worked fine if i activate the wordfence plugin you can see a 403 error i'll show that in a bit so now you can click on preview and the preview loads up just like that and these particles are interactive as well you can also customize all that from this website again the link is right within the widget itself so you can click on this i don't have to leave a link to this you can also change the interactive nature of the website so you can go to interactivity on hover maybe you can change it to grab something like that and then get the code for this and paste the code i'll show that right now so i just customize the code a bit again so i'll just click on download current config i'll open this up i'll copy all the code within i'll put the entire code here update it my demo will get updated automatically so this is my demo i can see that in action so it's that easy adding particles to your website sometimes you may have to clear your cache and flush out your cache from cdn to see these effects in action but that's a quick way to add particles now you can design your section like you normally would so you can add your widgets right here i'll just go to style change the blend mode to something like that or just play with your settings however you would update and your section is ready to rock whenever you update your template the demo will automatically be updated just like that and now you see your whole section in action so that's a quick way to add particles to your section backgrounds and now you can work with your sections like you normally would with any element section and here's another example of using this particles effect i just downloaded this from the digital agency kit which is available as a template within elementor you can go to this and download the section so just have this one section you can paste the code here go to advanced under jet tricks enable particles paste the json code and it would look something like this so not just with the things that you design you can also use this with templates again proceed with caution these will just work fine and they look really nice and they add that bit of personality to your websites that's it for now. That's a quick tutorial of Jetrix plugin. There's a lot that this croc block plugins can do. In, and I'll discuss all that in upcoming videos. Make sure you don't miss out a thing. Subscribe. If you didn't already, I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.